Hi, do you want to know any curious facts about the Andalusian hound breed? In this doggy footprints video, I will share with you 10 facts about Andalusian hound dogs. I hope that all you dog owners and future dog owners enjoy this video and learn something new while you're at it. And before we begin, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will get notified every time we upload new videos. Make sure to check out our channel. We will upload new content weekly about dogs. Let's begin. Let's start with number one, the origin of the Andalusian hound. The Andalusian hound is a Spanish breed developed for the purpose of hunting game. Their ancestors are most likely the European hunting dog. While it seems that the Andalusian hound is an old breed, no one can say how old. There were some dogs found in ancient cave paintings in the Iberian Peninsula. Some speculate that the Andalusian hound was part of those dogs, but the theory is uncertain. What we do know is that the Andalusian hound remained unrecognized till the 1990s. Thanks to the work of Philippe Bloch Renton and colleagues, a breed group was established. The Real Sociedad Canina de España recognized the breed in 1992. In January 2015, the Andalusian hound got recognized in Germany. The American Kennel Club, United Kennel Club, and the Fédération Sinologique Internationale haven't recognized this breed. The reason is the Andalusian hound is too similar to the Portuguese Padango, giving the former no distinctive feature. They are known for being successful and methodical hunters. The smaller Andalusian hounds traditionally hunt hare or rabbits, while the larger variants can be used to hunt wild boar. They will typically hunt in packs. Number 2, Andalusian Hound Appearance. The Andalusian hound is very related to other Mediterranean breeds such as the Portuguese Padango and the Ibizan hound. Their physique should be proportionate and well-muscled, with straight, slim legs. They will have a long face and a pointed muzzle. Their most distinguishing trait is their huge and upright ears, which will take up the majority of the area above their head. Of course, these ears will come in handy while the hounds are hunting over wide, desolate terrains, listening for indications of life. The Andalusian hound, like other Mediterranean hounds, can be small, tala chica, medium, tala mediana, or large, tala grande, and these different sizes of dogs should not be interbred. The tall version will normally measure between 53 and 64 centimeters in height and weight between 21 kilograms and 33 kilograms. The medium hound will be between 42 and 53 centimeters tall and weigh between 10 and 22 kilograms. The smallest of the Andalusian hounds is about 32 to 42 centimeter long and weighs roughly 8 kilograms. It is also worth noting that the medium Andalusian hound has a dwarf variation. This dog, known informally as the Minetto, has achondroplasia and hence has small and compact limbs. Despite, or possibly because of, its dwarfism, this dog is widely employed to hunt tiny game and is regarded as a fine family companion. It is affectionately known as, the Dachshund Pedenso. In addition to the three recognized sizes of Andalusian hounds, there are three acceptable coat types. Smooth, wire hair, and long hair are examples of these. Because of the wide range of acceptable heights and coat types, there are theoretically nine physically separate varieties of Andalusian hounds. Their coat should be white, cinnamon, or a blend of the two colors, with no undercoat. Number 3. Andalusian Hound Temperament. The Andalusian Hound is a logical, clever, and docile creature. It may be a terrific watchdog that is joyful and enjoys playing with his master. The dog was bred primarily for hunting and also has a great sense of smell. It hunts other animals by nature, it has a reasonable behavior and responds well to unforeseen conditions. It has an extremely strong memory and is capable of retaining knowledge with ease. One of the most important characteristics of the Andalusian hound is loyalty. They undoubtedly learned it during their hunting days. They are also prone to being kind, which qualifies them to be pets. They remain attentive and use all of their senses to study their surroundings. They are apprehensive of strangers and will bark if they see one. These characteristics combine to make them excellent security dogs and watchdogs. This happy, lively puppy has boundless energy. To be at his best, he needs some exercise and playing. It is best to be cautious while introducing other animals, especially smaller ones, because it is not uncommon for the Andalusian hound's innate hunting drive to kick in and cause them to chase. They are naturally good security dogs since they are vigilant and watchful, alerting their owner to the arrival of a new individual. They can be wary of strangers and perform best when they are in the presence of their owners, where they feel most at ease. With a tendency to be submissive at times, a good relationship with a confident and encouraging owner is essential to getting the most out of these sweet-natured hounds. They are also submissive and inclined to please their owners. They thrive when under the authority of a gentle, confident pet parent. 
Number 4. Andalusian Hound Socialization. To be well-mannered, the Andalusian Hound requires a range of training approaches. Unwanted behaviors should not be encouraged. This is why you should begin teaching your Andalusian puppy as soon as possible. He's a blank canvas at that age, ready for your lessons. The optimal time to begin is when your puppy is between the ages of 8 and 12 weeks. New pet owners can try to train an Andalusian hound, but it will be difficult. While the Andalusian hound is clever and docile, it was developed to be a hunting dog. They are accustomed to thinking independently and may prefer to do things their own way. Someone who does not grasp this will become frustrated. With the Andalusian hound, you must be patient and compassionate. Harsh treatment and punishment will cause your Andalusian hound to lose trust and respect for you. Rather than pat your Andalusian on the head, pat them beneath the chin or on the chest instead. It communicates more love. Owners tend to be blind to puppies' cuteness and frailty. They indulge these pups and spoil them. When you do this, it becomes harder to change those behaviors when they grow. A better way is to set rules and boundaries immediately. Number 5. Andalusian Hound Skills. They are highly adept at sniffing and have a lot of stamina because they are mostly hunting dogs. They have a high level of energy and are resistant to weariness. You cannot frighten or intimidate the dog. The breed is not well adapted to live in tiny spaces or with individuals who are indolent or relaxed back. It is an excellent protector and requires strong and confident masters with experience training and socializing huge breeds. Number 6. Andalusian Hound Trainability. Always keen to please their master, these dogs will respond well to a firm and consistent leader who uses positive reinforcement training. If treated unkindly, the Andalusian Hound will lose respect for its owner and will not happily perform the tasks asked of it. They are fast dogs with a natural instinct to hunt, and so must be kept on the lead in open spaces as they can easily become distracted by small, moving prey. Clever and willing, they are generally good fun and quite rewarding to train. As is true for all dogs, the Andalusian Hound should be started with socialization and training as early as possible. Because this is a hunting breed, it is intelligent and typically responds well to firm and consistent training. This dog is not easily frightened or intimidated so they require a handler who will be an authority figure. This hound can be socialized and trained to work alongside other breeds but no amount of training will eliminate their prey drive, so they may not do well in homes with cats and other small pets. Number 7. Andalusian Hound Health. There are no recognized diseases connected with the Andalusian Hound. While this may be due to the natural survival of the hardiest dogs in harsh conditions, as well as the general healthiness enjoyed by most hunting hounds. It is also possible that the health conditions experienced by this breed are not widely known or publicized due to poor record keeping and a lack of relevant studies. Having said that, all dogs can suffer from a variety of health issues throughout their lives, and not having a propensity to a certain disease does not ensure the Andalusian hound a disease-free existence. Routine health checkups at a veterinarian facility are strongly advised, and all dogs should undergo immunizations and parasite prevention on a regular basis. An Andalusian hound's lifespan is normally between 10 and 12 years. Number 8. Andalusian Hound Grooming. Brushing is advised for all three coat variations, but it is especially important for the longer coated versions to prevent mats. Because this breed is not hypoallergenic, it is not advised for allergy patients. Regular dental brushing and claw trimming, like with other dogs, should be introduced at a young age to ensure the Andalusian hound accepts them as part of their routine. Furthermore, their enormous ears should be examined on a regular basis to ensure they are clear of wax or debris, and the ear canals should be properly dried after swimming or bathing. Number 9. Andalusian Hound Exercise Needs. Despite the type of pedenso you have, it will need between 1 and 2 hours of daily exercise, including walks and interactive playtime. The pedenso's athleticism means that it can often enjoy taking part in dog sports like agility or canny cross, competitive running with your dog. The Andalusian Hound, like other working dogs, thrives when it is outside and active. It is obvious that they must be nimble and quick in order to catch a fleeing hare. They like being off the leash and enjoy running. They are known for their stamina and are willing to run for extended periods of time, thus they must be walled in if left outside alone. Number 10. Andalusian Hound Puppies. The typical litter size for the Andalusian Hound breed is 3 to 5 pups. Due to the differences in sizes and coats, breeding is as important as it is in any other dogs. Puppies with different coats can even be born in the same litter. Furthermore, because Andalusian hounds are a somewhat high-energy breed, puppies must be socialized and taught at a young age in order for them to acquire superior abilities. The Andalusian hound is a breed to consider as a companion pet as well as a watchdog.
So what do you think about the Andalusian hound breed? If there is anything we forget and you would like to add, kindly tell us in the comment section below, and we will see your comments and suggestions. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more dog video content. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.